Guide to Financial Independence – How to Retire Early Hello, and welcome to our channel Pursuit of Wealth. This channel is your ultimate destination for learning about finance and wealth, investing in crypto, informational and educational trends in finance management. If you are someone who wishes to become wealthy and are looking for smart money management options, then we are fortunate to have found each other. We all crave the feeling to get rid of our financial responsibilities as early as we can in our lives. Nobody likes to keep on doing that office job, they do it because they have to for their own sake and for the sake of their loved ones. However, retiring early isn't as easy as it comes. It would be best if you had a solid and focused mindset to achieve this goal and make sure that you go on and achieve financial independence. If you're having trouble with that, then leave that to us. We are here to help guide you towards financial assistance and how you can manage to retire early on in your life. The 10 ways that we're going to bring today will help you massively as they will guide you better in terms of saving money, investing it, and living a balanced life that doesn't have your money going out of your pockets now and then. These 10 ideas have been stressed so much because several people fail to follow, making early retirement difficult for them. Here are the ways how you can become financially independent. Number 10. Traditional Financial Independence Let's start with traditional financial independence. Traditional financial independence helps you determine whether you could reasonably expect your investments and other savings to cover your costs, regardless of whether or not you continue to work. This is usually measured using the 4% rule. The rule states that if your investments are worth at least 25 times your annual expenses, then you can truly call yourself financially independent. The 4% rule gives you an idea of where you need to get to when you know your monthly expenses, and it allows you to decide when you want to get there and tells you how much you need to save to reach your goals. When you have an idea of how much money you're supposed to save, then you can immediately start saving that money to make sure you reach your goal on time. Number 9. Fat Fire Fat fire is the opposite of being lean fire, where you can truly live it up while being retired since you have enough passive income to cover a rich lifestyle for yourself. Fat fire is different from the lean fire because the lean fire method gets you to retire early, whereas the fat fire gets you to retire in style. Instead of living on $20,000 a year like in lean fire, it allows you to expand the lifestyle you want using the money you have. This is for a better and more comfortable lifestyle. Compared to Lean Fire, where we are generating $20,000 to cover your expenses, Fat Fire focuses on bringing in more money, which allows you to spend more on your luxuries. Consequently, Fat Fire doesn't allow you to reach financial independence as quickly as Lean Fire, but it brings the added benefit of bringing you a healthy income once you get to the point of retirement. It is a method that offers you more comfort and ease of mind, and the pressure on you is comparatively lesser when compared to Lean Fire. Number 8. Lean Fire Lean Fire can retire before the conventional age of 60 years with a lean lifestyle, hence its name, Lean Fire. Lean Fire means your investments only cover your necessities, like food, transportation, and rent. Lean Fire is the lowest or easiest threshold to obtain for retiring early and should be the first goal when planning on living off your investments. For example, if you need $20,000 to cover all expenses for the year, your first goal is to achieve $20,000 in passive income before retiring. Lean Fire is a brilliant method to retire early, and since it isn't one of those methods that offer a lot of comforts, so many people do not opt for it. Number 7. Slow Financial Independence Slow financial independence works in contrast to lean fire and fat fire because of the reduction in savings you have to make while also ensuring you're on the goal towards financial independence. Slow financial independence aims to strike a balance between enjoying the process as much as the destination. It's about living in the moment and enjoying the current years while creating a simple plan to work your way towards financial independence. With slow financial independence on your hands, you get to enjoy your life more instead of solely worrying about getting to the finish line. Slow financial independence is such a successful method because it takes care of your current situation while also making sure that you get to save a healthy amount for yourself in the coming years. 
Number 6. Stick to a simple budget. Budgeting is considered boring, and for many, it isn't a fun exercise. Yet, it needs to be done at every cost, no pun intended, to achieve financial independence. Start tracking your monthly costs, such as housing costs, food costs, transportation, leisure, health-related expenses, etc. These are the most common expenses for most people. Keep an eye on the amount of money spent in these categories each month to know if you're spending according to your goals. By seeing these numbers visually, you'll be able to cut costs where possible, optimize them, and push yourself towards your goal of financial independence. Streamlining a proper budget for yourself will help you massively because things will be pretty easy for you in the money department when you are going simple. Cut down on your luxury now so that you get to have all that later on in your life. A quick reminder, if you've enjoyed the video so far, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. Number 5. Coasting Financial Independence The idea of coasting fire is the opposite of slow fire, and it is that you spend the early part of your savings journey saving money as aggressively as you can. Then, after you're done saving, you can generate income that will cover your expenses by leveraging compound interest and time on your investments. This approach is for people who can sacrifice a fun lifestyle with the desire to enjoy financial independence for more of their life when they are older. Not everyone has this habit, so saving money with aggression isn't for everyone. Don't fret over it if you can't because you can look for other ways of saving money. Number 4. Create Multiple Income Streams If you plan to become financially independent, one of the fastest ways is to create multiple income streams. Choosing passive income will help you massively increase your savings and investments. A good example could be real estate, with which you can earn money without carrying out landlord duties. Real estate crowdfunding, real estate investment trusts, and real estate mutual funds known as REITs, are all great ways to generate passive income from property without actually owning it. Another area that you could explore is dividend-paying stocks. Again, these are merely suggestions as there are hundreds of ways to generate a new income stream. The goal is to have at least three to five stable income streams at a minimum. Creating multiple incomes for yourself counts for a lot because having money come to you apart from that 9 to 5 is necessary for today's day. If you can't manage that, you can forget about savings. Number 3. Paying off debts If you seek financial independence, clearing off your debts is a must. Freeing yourself of these financial obligations means you have more savings for investments. So, if you have a debt on your hands but your goal is to achieve financial independence as quickly as possible, you need to plan a strategy to pay it off as soon as possible. We recommend using the avalanche debt method to pay off your debts, starting from the highest interest rate to the lowest interest rate. Also, use lower interest rate cards to pay off higher interest rate cards to reduce the compound interest effect being used against you. Getting rid of debts is necessary if you want to achieve financial independence. As long as you owe other people money, you cannot hope to build your wealth. When money starts going away from your hands, how will you end up building it in large numbers? Number 2. Grow Your Financial Literacy If achieving financial independence is your ultimate goal, you need to increase your financial literacy or knowledge about personal finance. When you know about personal finances and investing, you start thinking strategically with your money. That's why you're watching this video and you are recommended for investing in your financial future by studying these videos. It's the starting point of the journey to financial independence. By learning how to utilize your money better to make sure your goal of financial independence is achieved as early as possible. The learning never stops and, as with all knowledge, it's only good when you apply what you know. When you learn more about money, you will know how to save it better. Read books and magazines and listen to successful entrepreneurs and business people to better manage your money. Number 1. Apply a frugal mindset as much as personal frugality is hated, you will need to adopt it sooner or later if you wish to achieve financial independence quickly. Constant little deductions from your wallet will hurt in the long run and make you stay further from your goal of financial independence. Start practicing essential frugal living tips and once you get the hang of them, incorporate them into your daily life. 
And remember, frugality is much different than being cheap. Being frugal is being thrifty and resourceful. Being cheap is being stingy and living in fear of scarcity. So be frugal, not cheap, and you will have the key to fire. Live like you don't have money in the bank. This way, you will be able to save more money than before. This mindset is not only going to help you save money, but it will also help you save time and resources. Gaining financial independence isn't impossible as some people would make it out to be. It is doable and in today's day, it is more than necessary. You cannot hope to rely on other people to do it for you, which is why having habits that are going to make you achieve financial freedom early are habits you need to put into practice starting today. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and press the bell icon for more amazing content about wealth management and finance related videos. Success is coming your way. Keep your doors open. See ya till the next time.